fellow earthlings. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be on planet Earth. Well, it's Sunday morning, isn't it? It is. And what an excellent day it is today. Nothing earth shattering, but thank you very, very, very much to the subscriber fellow YouTuber who sent me the link to Steph the Nerd who is a YouTuber who I had never heard of before. Oh, airplane. All the time, all the time, isn't it? <laughs> yes, Steph the Nerd, this fellow YouTuber, sent me a link to Steph the Nerd I had never heard. She's got to be YouTube's best kept secret from me because she's got 44 and a half thousand subscribers. She is a substantial YouTuber. And I highly recommend if you are a Wally fan or any other YouTubers fan um, who may have been criticised or had any problems, or if you're a Christopher Boozy fan, go and watch Steph's most recent, well, I think it's her most recent video, where she talks about Bot Sentinel and mostly the data protection laws here in Europe and also back home in the UK. Now, here in Europe, we have the GDPR. And in the UK, ever since the UK left the European Union, they created their own act, the Data Protection Act 2018, which pretty much mirrors the GDPR. Now, I'd heard of GDPR. Wally and I have been aware that Wally has a right to access to all the data that Google and YouTube hold on her. It is not up for discussion whether YouTube and Google hand that data over and show her copies of what they have. It is not up for discussion. It is not going to be a discretionary decision. Mr. Tom Simpson, I am addressing you and again I am using your name in the title because if there's anyone else out there who would like to access their data from YouTube and Google, then this is very important that they go and watch Steph the Nerd or watch this video. Well, it's the law. It is very much the law. Now, we're all aware there are laws all the time. What I didn't realize until watching Steph is the powerful, powerful rights that each and every one of us as individuals have if you live in the European Union or the United Kingdom. Those rights are written in stone, in law. They are not something that large conglomerates or companies or banks or any organization can dismiss, trample over, ignore. That is not up for discussion whatsoever. Now, as you all know, over a month ago, Wally wrote a letter to Tom Simpson, senior counsel at Google UK Limited. He is also in charge of legal matters at YouTube. She wrote to him and she sent a registered letter. She has the receipt. She has a copy of the letter. The advice from the Information Commissioner's Office, who is the governing body of data protection laws in the United Kingdom, say that you have to give the company plenty of time to gather all your data and supply you with everything that they hold. You also all know that a week later, I also wrote to Mr. Simpson on Wally's behalf and all of you, hundreds of you, also wrote to Mr. Simpson. He has not replied. It has been completely ignored. Thanks to Steph the Nerd this morning, I have discovered that this is the moment that Wally needs to make a complaint to the Information Commissioner's Office. I've been on their website, I've been on their complaint form, I've gone through the very small questionnaire, have you written to the organisation? Yes. Tick. Have they responded? No. Tick. Was it, have you waited a month or over? Yes, tick. In that case, you are entitled to make a complaint to the Information Commissioner's Office. Now, Graham and I had a friend years and years ago. We're both convinced worked for MI6. I know that sounds out there, but really. 
And he said to us, 90% of life is intimidation. Only 10% is really a threat. And I have never forgotten he told us that. Now this 10%, Mr. Simpson, this is the law. You cannot ignore people, take their channels down, or mess with their channels without complying with the law. It's serious, and we're talking millions of pounds of fine. Millions. Mrs. Quinlan has never received any communication from YouTube. No explanation. Her channel was taken down without rhyme or reason. And not only that, she created another channel, a sister channel, which was taken down. Now that starts the clock running again, which was very much the point of the second channel, which I think was rather missed by some of her critics. They misunderstood the reason for the second channel, because the fake lawyers ran the clock on their first one, so we had to start from scratch. YouTube have not only ignored Mrs Quinlan, they've refused to give her an explanation They've refused to allow an appeal. Further than that, she has made a data application which has been completely ignored. She has not received any communication from Mr. Simpson, YouTube or Google. Now is the time it gets really serious for YouTube and Google. She has the same rights as all of us as individuals. They are very, very powerful rights. Do not underestimate your rights as a data subject. This is big trouble for YouTube and Google. They must respond. The time for ignoring and the 90% intimidation is over. Mr. Simpson, a complaint is going to be filed tomorrow with the Information Commissioner's Office. Even though it is a bank holiday for the Queen's funeral, it will be filed online tomorrow. You cannot not communicate with Mrs Quinlan. What do you make of all that? It sounds like all lawyer stuff to me. But it, well, that's the thing. But the way the law is written, thanks to this Steph, it's written in very plain, easy language. But then you make your complaint and you go for it. Absolutely, and it's not the and sort surely of surely if someone doesn't comply, they're committing an offence, aren't they? I mean, I hate to be old-fashioned about <laughs> these things. I mean, the law is the law. Hey, they might have the FBI on. And them. even if you're not aware, that ignorance is no excuse. I'm afraid not. No, this is very serious, and it's not going to go away. We're like dogs with a bone. We are not going to drop this subject. Wally wants her channel back. Or at the very least, she wants an explanation why it was taken down. And I'm sure she would like an explanation as to why a member of the press was furnished with information that she yeah. was not, apparently. Surely that's a data breach. Isn't that illegal as well? Well, I wouldn't like to say that YouTube or Google have broken the law. But they need to investigate and find out, yeah. if you can let me finish before you make any more illegal declarations. I'm only asking they need, questions. They need to at least find out how Ellie Hall was made privy to information when YouTube and Google have never communicated anything to Wally. Never. Why is it okay for them to share data, that's the allegation, with a member of the press? That's very much the point. And Mr Simpson clearly is not taking it very seriously. I don't believe he has not received the letters. Mine was sent registered post. I've got my receipt. Wally's was sent registered post. I don't know how many of you sent yours registered post, but he must have been inundated. He cannot possibly not know about this. This will be the second, if not third, YouTube video with his name in the title. This has got to be addressed. I don't care if it involves members of the royal family or not, in fact, ever more. You can't mention the royal family. I am a monarchist, as you all know. But I support the monarchy because it is not a benevolent despot. It is not dictatorial. It is very much there to protect our rights. I've written 
to the late Queen Elizabeth II in the past and she replied and she helped me with my problem and I've no doubt King Charles III will be the same. At any point, if the British royal family or any members of the British royal family get to the stage where they can exert pressure on a corporation in order to circumvent the law, I will cease to be a monarchist. And I'm sure that the majority of the British royal family and all members would agree with that sentiment. We do not live under a dictatorship and it's unacceptable. We will be making a complaint tomorrow and we expect a response, Mr. Simpson. This problem isn't going to go away. If anything, it's going to grow. Have a fabulous day, everybody. And that was it. I was going to press the button. <laughs>